Hey folks, how's it going? In this video, we're going to go over three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving the force on a current carrying wire in a magnetic field. Now, if you haven't done so already, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says to calculate the magnitude of the force on a conductor that is 10 centimetres long, carrying a current of 20 amps from south to north when it is placed in a horizontal magnetic field of magnitude 0.75 tesla, directed from east to west. The best thing to do first is to sketch the situation so you know what you're doing. So here's the wire or conductor with a length of 10 centimetres, and it's got a current of 20 amps flowing upwards from south to north, and we've also got a magnetic field with magnetic induction 0.75 tesla going from east to west. We can then write down what we know from the question, so we're trying to find the force F. We know that the current I is 20 amps. We know L is 10 centimetres, which we need to change into metres, so that's 0.1 metres. And we know that B is 0.75 tesla. We also know that the angle theta between the direction of the magnetic field and the current direction is 90 degrees. So writing down the equation, we have F equals ILB sine theta. Substituting in the numbers gives us 20 times 0.1 times 0.75 times sine 90. And sine of 90 just gives us 1, so this simply gives us 1.5 newtons once you put it into your calculator. Question 2 says that a wire which is carrying a current of 6.0 amps has 0.5 metres of its length placed in a magnetic field of magnetic induction 0.2 tesla, as shown in this picture. Calculate the size of the force on the wire if it is placed, A, at right angles to the direction of the field. So we've got our current flowing along this wire from left to right, and the magnetic field at an angle there. And we can start by writing down what we know from the question here, so we're trying to find F, we know that I is 6 amps, we know the length of the wire L is 0.5 metres, and the magnetic induction B is 0.2 tesla. We also know that if it's at right angles, then the angle theta must be 90 degrees. So writing down the equation, we have F equals ILB sine theta, which is equal to 6 times 0.5 times 0.2 times sine 90, and if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 0.6 newtons. Part B says to calculate the size of the force on the wire if it's placed at 45 degrees to the direction of the field. So this time we're just going to do exactly the same as part A, but replace the angle theta with 45 instead of 90. So doing that, we've got the angle theta this time of 45 degrees, and we can do the same as before. So we've got F equals ILB sine theta, which equals 6 times 0.5 times 0.2 times sine 45, which gives us an answer of 0.4 newtons. And part C says to calculate the size of the force on the wire if it's placed along the direction of the field, i.e. lying parallel to the field lines. So this time we can say that theta equals 0 degrees. So writing down our equation F equals ILB sine theta and substituting in the numbers, we get 6 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.2 times sine 0, but sine of 0 is 0, so this should come out to 0 newtons. Lastly, question 3 says that a 40 millimetre length of wire is at an angle of 45 degrees within a magnetic field. When a current of 2 amps flows through the wire, there is a force of 0.03 newtons acting on it. Calculate the magnetic induction of the field. Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find B. We know that F is 0.03 newtons. We know that the current I is 2 amps. And we know the length L of the wire is 40 millimetres, which we need to rewrite in metres. So we get 40 times 10 to the minus 3 metres. And lastly, theta is 45 degrees, which it tells us in the question. So writing down our equation, we have F equals ILB sine theta, and substituting in the numbers, we have 0 0.03 equals 2.0 times 40 times 10 to the minus 3, times B times sine 45, and so I would do the 2 times the 40 times 10 to the minus 3 times sine 45 in your calculator, and then divide 0 0.03 by that answer, and you'll end up with B equals 0 0.53 tesla. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.